Thank you for buying our new Vertex VT4830 controller. On the Vertex VT4826 and VT4830, the mains wiring goes on terminals 1 and 2. You will notice the little block has been colored in indicating that this particular unit works on a voltage between 90 and 250 volts. The thermocouple input goes on terminal 7 and 8, terminal 7 being the positive and terminal 8 the negative. If you should have a PT100, normally it would be a 3-wire device, and the two similar colors go on terminal 7 and terminal 8 and the odd color will go on terminal 9. The thermocouple input goes on terminal 7 and 8, terminal 7 being the positive and terminal 8 the negative. If you should have a PT100, normally it would be a 3-wire device and the two similar colors go on terminal 7 and terminal 8 and the odd color will go on terminal 9. On these controllers, the output is to be connected to terminals 11 and 12. The output can be either a relay output, in which case terminals 11 and 12 simply behave as a switch, switching a signal on and off, or it could be a solid state relay output in which case terminal 12 is the positive terminal and terminal 11 is the negative terminal. The output may also be an analog output such as a 0 to 10 volts or a 4 to 20 milliamp and then again terminal 12 will be the positive terminal of the loop and terminal 11 the negative terminal of the loop. Sometimes the application will require a cooling output. The cooling output, if it has been chosen, will be found on terminal 16 and 17 and work in a similar fashion terminal wise to terminals 11 and 12 which is the main output. These controllers are supplied standard with two alarm relay outputs. Alarm 1 is to be found on terminals 5 and 6 and alarm 2 on terminals 3 and 4 as shown. So when you first take the controller out of its box and are about to install it in your panel, Please be sure to look at the label on the side as we have just shown you and also check the little dots which have been filled in indicating which options apply on your controller. As you will see this one is a thermocouple input and for output 1 it's a solid state relay and there is no output 2 on this particular unit. If you have chosen to have RS-485 communication on the controller, then the terminals that will be used for that purpose are terminals 13 and 14.